So here I, ew, well this is ugly. Hey there everyone, Laurel here, and today's video is all about alcohol inks. I'm going to be making a couple of hardcore panel alcohol inks using some very basic alcohol ink techniques. So let's get right into it. I am using a new hard panel by Masterpiece, and I have to say I am so impressed with these panels. They come in all different kinds of sizes and they don't warp, they don't buckle, they don't do anything. And I'll tell you, I tested it out the hard way because when I was done making my panel, I sprayed it with a fixative spray, not a fixative spray, I sprayed it with a sealant spray uh, by Krylon and then I actually left it out in the pouring rain for hours. Uh, I realized a couple hours, I was like, oh my gosh, and I ran out and uh, grabbed my completed panel, and it was completely fine. There was no warping, no bending, no nothing. And uh, so, yeah, these are some seriously cool panels. I will link to them below for you if you want to check them out. And if you're like me and you leave them out in the rain, all's going to be good. <laughs> all right, so I am using Bria Reese alcohol inks. I'm using three to four colors, and I'm going to make two panels in the video today. The first one is a panel that I'm going to complete here, but I'm going to eventually turn it into a project. So you will actually see this completed panel again in a couple of weeks because uh, I'm going to turn it into something a little bit different. But uh, so what I've got here is in that little bowl off to the right is just filled with isopropyl alcohol I got from the grocery store. I'm using a little sponge dauber there also from Bria Reese, but you can use any kind of makeup sponge. Uh, you can even use a cloth or a kitchen towel if you want to, to just kind of sponge on some of that alcohol ink to add some texture. So I'm using my heat gun to kind of push some of the alcohol ink around as well as dry it. And it gives me those fine lines there, which I think are super cool. I'm also using a little dropper there to drop on some more alcohol and it just kind of blends everything out a little bit more. And then I'll use my heat tool here again to kind of dry it and intensify those lines there. This is the first panel. Uh, I didn't do too much. It's just basic. It's on that hard panel. This is going to make a great decor piece. And like I said, you'll see that panel again in a later video. Uh, in a couple of weeks. But here's a look at this one. And I just love how it turned out and it just took under a few minutes, under two minutes probably to make. All right, so now I'm gonna move on and make the panel you see there on the right that has that gold in it. All right, so I just dumped some of the alcohol right onto the panel and then I'm gonna go in and add the same colors that I used in the last piece there, right here. So I started off with the, the green and then I'm gonna go in with the blue and I'm gonna incorporate just a whole bunch of stuff. So this time I'm gonna pick up the panel and just tilt it around to kind of get that alcohol ink moving. And it created all those lines, like all those webs. And then I'll go in and add the gray color all to the four corners there. And when I work with alcohol inks, I really never have a plan. I just kind of fudge around until I like you know, how it looks. So for using alcohol inks, I don't want you to think that you have to go out and buy a whole bunch of things. You really don't. I would say have a dedicated paintbrush of some kind just for your alcohol inks. You can use a dropper like I have here. You can even get those from the pharmacy, you know, those little kid droppers. Uh, you can use that. You can use a comb, the edge of a credit card, any kind of uh, even torn paper to create really fun texture to your alcohol ink backgrounds. You don't have to go out and buy special things. So don't think you do. And again, alcohol ink is so forgiving. So if you, you get something on there and you just don't like how it looks, you can just wipe it clean with alcohol ink and you can just start over. So that's another thing that I love about this. It's super duper forgiving here. So you can see I've just got the three colors. I've got the green, the blue, and the gray. And I'm just gonna keep fudging around until I like it, <laughs> which is pretty much how I do anything that I make. I just mess around until I like it. Uh, so here I am adding a little bit more gray, bringing it in. I don't know what my plan is here. I wanted just to show a lot of different color variation. I really like using my heat tool because first of all, I'm lazy and I just need this to dry so I can get on with it. Uh, but also I like that I can kind of push it around and control where the intensity of the puddles of the color go. So I am incorporating a new a color here, if you will. This is a liquid glitter and this is a silver additive also from Bria Reese and I just kind of added it uh, where some of the white was if think of this if you're a card maker think of it like 
uh, perfect pearls mixture. So it's going to add those beautiful shimmery areas to wherever you apply the product. And that's what I really liked about this. So once I get it in there, it moves around. It kind of almost sits on top of the alcohol ink. So you can see where as I tilt the paper and move it around, you can actually see where I'm placing it. So it, it seems to almost sit on the top of the alcohol ink. But anyway, I'm just adding it ar around. I'm dabbing a little bit here and there with my paintbrush until I get it kind of spread out randomly on the background there. And once I'm happy and it's dry, you can see how sparkly that is. So then I'm just gonna flick on some more of that alcohol just to create those little puddles. Totally skip the step and leave it how it was if you'd prefer. And then again, using my heat gun, my heat gun was my friend here so I could really uh, you know, finish this panel from start to finish within a few minutes because I just like to keep things moving. I don't know. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm impatient. I don't think lazy is the right word. I'm impatient. Definitely impatient. All right, so once I'm all good and done, I'm kind of picking up all that alcohol ink off of my glass mat. <laughs> so I'm cleaning as I go, but then I'm going to make more of a mess. I decided to add in a little more, more of that blue there. So I'm just going to go tap that in. And then once I'm done, I'm ready to add some gilding flakes because that gold, remember the gold that you saw from the picture? I love this. I love doing this. So when, I'm going to dry it a little bit. I don't want to dry it too much. So you can actually not even use your heat tool at all and just wait a few minutes. And while it's kind of sticky to the touch, you can actually see the dark lines there. See all those dark lines? It's still wet. So at this point, I can take my gilding flakes. Now these are messy. Full disclosure, do not sneeze. Just hold your breath. These get all over the place. Uh, just everywhere. So I went ahead and I, I am just patting them down on my alcohol inked panel. It's not smudging anything. It's basically all of the gilding plate flakes are going to stick to where the wet sticky part of the alcohol ink is. So you can do this very easily as long as your alcohol ink panel is not completely dry. So once I've got that all good and set and pushed in there good, I'll take a uh, brush, if you will, I will kind of sweep off. I'm cleaning off my card. I'm going to sweep off any of the gilding flakes that are not stuck to the dampness of the alcohol ink panel. And then once this is good and dry, I'm going to spray it with the Krylon sealant spray. It's a matte fixative. It's not, I keep saying fixative. It's a matte sealer and I will link it below in the description. And I use this on all of my alcohol ink panels because it seals everything in place. It's going to keep the colors vibrant. This is it right here. And oh, by the way, spray this outside because this stuff stinks. Spray this outside, take it outside. Uh, so I sprayed it, it dries very quickly and we are good to go. So I love this one. The, the addition of the gilding flakes is just everything to me. And you can frame it, give it away as a gift. If you're into resin, you could pour some resin or something like that over the top and make a beautiful piece of art. Uh, so there's a lot you can do with the alcohol inks and the panels. So give it a try if you do, let me know in the descriptions below. If there's any other alcohol techniques that you wanna see from me, also let me know in the comments because I always want to create what you want to see, right? I don't wanna create and you guys be like bored and click away and not come back and visit me. So let me know and uh, I will see you next time for another video. Thanks so much for watching.